I've probably done at least two or three hundred protests easy. I've been doing this now for nine years. Megan Anderson is back. Perhaps you don't remember the name, but you might remember the previous outfit. We're here protesting these in her fashion. There's nothing sexy about wearing dead animal skins. Peter's latest stunt is making a sudsy mess and even distracting drivers on Hollywood Boulevard. It's worth it. You can have a killer look without killing for the holidays. We're encouraging everyone to go to FurrisDead.com and PETA.org. Naked inside a makeshift shower, PETA beauties are bearing it all to promote a vegan lifestyle. You know, we it's cold, but it's nothing compared to what the animals go through. I like PETA's quirky, imaginative visuals for our protest such as the lettuce bikinis. These women who call themselves the lettuce ladies are out to convince passerbys to turn over a new leaf. I've done everything from normal outreach to playing dead and bear traps covered with blood and fur to show that we all have the same parts regardless of what species we are. I've also done the body parts demo where we paint our bodies like butcher diagrams. And now to more local news tonight. If you were in downtown Monterey today, you probably saw this. A naked woman. Look at that. The big word rib plastered right there. Hey, that got your attention tonight, I bet. Well, this was a PETA protest. The woman held a sign that said all animals have the same parts. Go vegan. Everything from crazy Vegas chicken costumes to cows, you name it. Megan Anderson says she's played the role of a half-naked, beaten animal at more than 100 protests across the country. I've probably been in over 40 states, and recently I also went internationally, and I went to Canada, Finland, Estonia, and Russia as well. Two American women have been arrested in downtown Moscow for attempting to stage a naked animal rights protest. We did an anti-fur demonstration at their Moscow Fashion Week. The two PETA activists were detained near the World Trade Center. They had barely taken out their banners, let alone taken off their clothes, before the police arrested them for picketing and bundled them into a van. We are on the nightly news that night. We had like an eight or nine minute long interview of why you shouldn't wear fur, how these animals are trapped, how they're caught in the wild, how they're bred on fur farms just for the sake of being skinned alive for vanity. I was arrested in Dallas for doing a Ringling Brothers protest and we were within our legal rights. And sometimes, again, when you have a message to convey to people that they might not want to hear, people want to shut your message down. Later on, we went on the nightly news and then even more people heard about the cruelties of animals and entertainment. After spending nine hours in lockup and flying back to Dallas for trial, the seasoned animal activist responded just how you'd expect her to. It's unfortunate that it had to happen, but it's nothing compared to what the animals go through. The judge ruled police had no reason to arrest Anderson. The officer testified that Anderson drew a large crowd and was causing a traffic jam. But the judge ruled that's not enough. So she dismissed the jury and ruled Anderson not guilty. These tactics really work. I can't tell you how many times I've been on the streets at protests and outreach events where people wouldn't have stopped otherwise just because we had some random outfit on or had a funny sign. Everyone should become involved in PETA. We all have voices, so we need to use our voice to help them to not be used for food or entertainment or clothing or experimentation. For us to go out on a limb and do these crazy visuals, this stuff really works.